Hello guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Jayla Scanlon and today we're going to be uh, looking into creating a basic web layout uh, within Adobe Photoshop. This is going to be a three-part series and so in the first tutorial we're going to actually look at um, the layout itself and how we did a few of these uh, graphics and, and, uh, and images and then we'll start looking at how you can incorporate them into your own web layout. So right now I've already created something, um, you know, I just created whatever, you, you don't have to, you know, you can make up your own thing, so, um, anyways, I've got a few text here, I've got some um, brush elements, um, I've got some gradients and all that kind of stuff, all these should be in the editing tutorials, but I will go over them really quick, uh, one thing to notice though is that for your assignment, um, if you click up here on image and if you go to canvas size, um, it will show you pixels that we have 800 by 600 um, pixels for our dimensions and that's what the assignment will be so uh, make sure that when you create a new um, web layout make sure that you adjust these accordingly I had to customly go in there and manually enter 800 and 600 make sure that you've selected pixels uh, our resolution is 150 and we want to stick to RGB color so right now I've put all of this together and uh, just some of the elements I want to um, mention are these paint brushes in the back right here. Um, so as you can see, I have a paint and a splatter layer. So uh, I didn't actually draw these. These were downloaded brushes. And I, you can download these um, right here on BrushEasy.com. Um, and uh, they have some amazing you know, paint brushes that you can play around with and download and install into uh, Photoshop. And uh, if you have any questions, I can help you um, with the downloading and installing them. The other thing is uh, going to defont.com. Now, this is an amazing resource for text. So you can go and look up all these cool fonts and, you know, you can start playing around and come up with, you know, something like this. Uh, this was one of the fonts that I downloaded. And then, uh, you know, something important for the layout is make sure that you have, you know, some sort of idea of where your buttons will be because these are going to be the links. They go to all the different pages uh, for what you're going to be using within this class. Also, I kind of added at the bottom here, you know, copyright, whatever. Um, if you if you want a reference, you can go to any website, you know, apple.com and see how they do it. And usually they're usually just, uh, you know, the year, copyright, whatever your production um, company is and all rights reserved. And uh, just something that I want to add right now. Uh, we're going to add an element. Um, we're going to add this little shape tool. If you click it, and then if you uh, go up to the, the top tool panel, you can actually scroll down and look at some of the shapes. And lo and behold, there's a copyright shape that we can actually click. Um, be sure to hold shift, click, and drag, and it will you know, create your um, copyright symbol right there. And uh, because it has a mask, we want to get rid of that. So if you right click on the side right here, and then rasterize layer. Now we just have the image. So we can use the selection tool. Uh, we can grab that and we can transform it. We can make it smaller. Uh, transforming will be in the other tutorial. And then hit enter. And then you can move this, you know, next to the copyright, make it look a bit more legit, I guess. But that's it from me. This is uh, what you can create using uh, Photoshop and what you will have to create for our class. And so thank you for watching. My name is Jayla Scanlon. We look forward to the second part of the tutorial where we will talk about um, setting up guides using the ruler tool so that we can slice up our image and be ready to import into Dreamweaver. And we'll see you in the next tutorial.